Hey, this is Video Bob, and people have been asking me to give them a tour of my uh, my tour bus. It's a 1990 Angola Prevo. I'm not going to show you the outside right now because well, it's cold outside and I need to polish it. So I'm just going to show you the inside. Uh, people have seen pictures of the outside. This is the inside. We're going to start with the front cabin area, I guess. Uh, let me flip the camera around here. So here's the part where I drive. You know, this is a uh, basic control panel. You have all your controls and, you know, your gauges that show you your your air, uh, your battery, your fuel. Um, you have what's called a twin pyro gauge that um, tells you the temperature of your exhaust. You don't want your exhaust to get too hot. Your turbo, you know, when you're going up a mountain or something, you can get a little, you can overheat. You don't want to do that. You got your transmission temperature, oil temperature, water temperature, a lot of gauges. Um, standard little GPS I have over there and the transmission controls, uh, some air suspension leveling controls front air conditioner, uh, various controls for the heating and air conditioning in here, the radio, little backup camera, things like that, mirror controls. Up here is the electronic panel, lets you, uh, you know, check all your voltages that are coming from, you know, right now we're on shore power, but you could monitor your DC voltages and your AC power that's coming from either your generator or your two inverters. There's a lot going on in there, okay? We have a full security system with cameras all over the place that I put in. You have forward-facing cameras, rear-facing cameras, cameras that go down each side, and cameras on the inside even. Um, this is like a full-time running uh, dash cam system that covers the entire bus all the way around. I recommend doing this. And this little cabinet here, you've got uh, some controls for your inverters and things like that. And part of my Bose uh, stereo system. I've installed this red LED lighting all throughout. Uh, this chair here, I can't operate it right now, but this is a recliner. This thing comes out. Uh, and this floor, th there's a, a panel that slides forward and covers this hole when you're going down the road. Uh, and then you can put your feet there. Okay. And... Um, here we have television. What I've done is I've covered up the two windows here with a panel and mounted this 60-inch television. That guitar is just mounted there. Um, that guitar was one I picked up real cheap because somebody had snapped the neck in half and I glued it together. And it, it looks like it's just hanging there, but it isn't. It's screwed in pretty tight. It's not going anywhere. These barrel chairs didn't come with the rig. Uh, I found these at a furniture place and they fit perfectly. Uh, the original carpet had been replaced with this black marble tile. This uh, couch pulls out into a bed. You got a little island here. You know, first thing everybody wants to do when they get in, they want to plug in. So I've got this USB port here so everybody can plug their stuff in. Over there, this is a Dyson heater. I, I run this thing when I'm just parked and the thing works great um, rather than running the big air conditioners, you know. Little things I've added, by the way. I put these cup holders in. Uh, I put this cup holder here. I put those cup holders over there. There's never enough cup holders. This thing didn't have a single cup holder in it except for the driver. Um, here's the kitchen. You've got a, cra a trash compactor, some little storage areas. I've st I stole these from Guy Fieri's restaurant. So whenever you're in Vegas, make sure to steal one. Um, <laughs> there's the sink. You know, you got a sink under there, flat top, which I don't think I've ever used, like ever. Microwave. Uh, there's my air fryer that you've seen famously on YouTube and things like that. Keep some goodies and snacks. Uh, a little trick that I learned a long time ago, I've been RVing for a while, is put napkins in between your bowls and your plates. Keeps them from rattling. Or just use Tupperware. You know, that comes in handy. I installed these foaming uh, soaps all over the place. Those come in handy. This coffee center, you know, we just got a Keurig in there. It used to be an old style Mr. Coffee in here. We got rid of that. Full size double door refrigerator full of goodies. Um, you know, not much in there. I got to go shopping. But this is one just like you would have in your house. These stickers are from various places I've been. My buddy Terry made this piece of artwork for me, and I hung that up in here. You go back in here. Uh, let me. This is the bathroom. Let me turn on some more lights here. You've got yourself, you know, your, your, your vanity. You got mirrors all the way around. Hi. Toilet. Full-size shower here. Step on in. Let's take a shower. All right. Um, here we have our washer dryer and, um, turn that off, but yeah, it, it's a all in one unit. You could wash and dry you know, all in the same unit. That's pretty cool. 
And then down here, these are hampers where I keep soap and dirty clothes. You know, this is a closet where I keep uh, some of my outfits that I perform in. When I go up on stage, we have a Dyson vacuum there for cleaning up. Um, just some extra storage here. Tons of drawers to keep various things in. Always, you know, you gotta have, you always need like batteries and, and screws and tape and I always, you gotta keep tools on the bus, you know, so I keep all that stuff handy. We've got uh, this area of broom closet. Put dresses in there. I'm a Swiffer. I like to keep it nice and cool. Here we are in the bedroom. Another big TV. 60 inch TV at the foot of the bed. Hooked up to Netflix and internet and all that kind of stuff. Um, behind that mirror is a huge closet. It's so big you could sleep in that thing. Literally. I mean, you, it goes all the way across and you could put just clothes. It's crazy. All these drawers, tons and tons of drawers for all your clothes. Lots and lots of storage. Matter of fact, this giant queen bed, which is actually a 12 inch memory foam mattress, it lifts up and underneath that is all storage. You put your suitcases and things under there. And uh, here's a little tip <clears throat> for anybody with an RV or a truck. Always keep a fire extinguisher by your bed. By the way, I have right above here is ox, um, carbon monoxide alarm and a fire alarm right here by the bed, all right? Over there uh, is controls where I sleep. You got the air conditioning, heating controls, lighting controls, generator controls. There's a little alarm clock and a radio mount for my phone. I put another one over there with a plug. Um, you can kind of control all the important stuff. I keep a little humidifier over there too, because it gets dry in here. Uh, added these lights as well, hold on. So it's nice and bright in here when you, when you wanna get ready. Um, you know, in the shower, there's, there's a vent fan right there. When you're taking a shower that comes in handy. This toilet <clears throat> is interesting. This is the kind that they put like on a ship or, or a submarine or something. It's, it's, it's basically a garbage disposal for you, for your poo. Ew. Now let's go back in here. So, uh, this is kind of the rig. This is where I live for weeks at a time when I'm out and, um, it's awesome, you know, you got this Bose Acoustamass uh, system. Actually, the subwoofer is hidden underneath this bench, um, which I had all this reupholstered. The thing is, like, super quiet when you're going down the road. It's really comfortable. Lots and lots of storage everywhere. Um, and you know, there's these lights here. There's a little slider here and that turns those on. You get nice and bright in here if you want. So that's a tour, that's a tour of the tour bus. This thing is so cool. Uh, it's probably one of the coolest things that I own. I, I just, I'm so proud of this thing, I love it to death. And uh, I think when it was new in 1990, it was $650,000. It's crazy. Gets horrible gas mileage, gets like five miles a gallon, five, six miles a gallon, somewhere in there, depending on what you're towing. And, um, but it holds 260 gallons of diesel. So you can literally fill this thing up and drive it like straight to the other side of the country from right here. <clears throat> it's pretty impressive. So um, this is it. If you want to jump out into the big leagues, you know, this is it. Uh, if I ever start making millions of dollars, I'll, you know, for instance, if you wanted to go buy like a new version of one of these, you're going to spend a couple of like two and a half million bucks. But then again, it's a way bigger coach. You're talking about one that's taller, longer has a bunch of slide outs, does all kinds of crazy shit. This doesn't have any slide outs, doesn't do any of those things. I don't really need any, any of that stuff. This is a good old fashioned stainless steel tour bus, just like the good old days. And this thing will run for millions of miles. So um, I love this thing and uh, maybe coming to a town near you. So I'm Video Bob and this is the Video Bob Tour Bus. Thanks for watching.